Hey friends, we came in this morning and we had our trains set up on the blue rug because we are doing train, setting trains this week. On Tuesday, we read the book, The Little Engine That Could, I Think I Can, I Think I Can, I Think I Can by Wadi Piper. And we talked about the letters in our names when we made our trains. So Ruby, the letters in your name are R, U, B, Y, and you matched all of the letters in your name and created your trains. Miles, your name is M-I-L-E-S, and you matched all the letters in your name for your train. You're doing a great job, friends. Nicholas, your name is N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. You have a long name like me, but you matched all your letters quickly and easily. Tara, your name is T-A-R-A, -A, and you matched your T-A-R-A -A in your name. And Alex will help you put your mask back on, sweet pea. And Georgie Porgy putting in pie. Your name is George. You have two G's and two E's in your name. G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, and you were able to match it. And at home, Anaira, you can practice matching the letters of your name. And Arjun, you can practice matching the letters of your name. And Poppy, you can practice matching the letters of your name. Put your hands in. Excuse me. Lincoln is not here today, and Lincoln will practice matching the letters of his name next week. All right, we are going to read our book called How to Train a Train, written by Jason Carter Eaton and illustrated by John Rocco. The illustrator's job is to do the pictures. How to Train a Train. Oh, boy. Hmm. We're going to take this to the book hospital. So you want a pet train? Well, of course you do. Trains make awesome pets. They're fun, they're playful, and extremely useful. Lucky for you, this handy guidebook contains everything you need to know to choose, track, and train your very own pet train. Ready? Now let's head out to find some trains. The pet train. He is the conductor, and he is going to tell us how to train our trains. <laughs> Different trains live in different places. Freight trains live in the countryside and travel in herds. Monorail trains live in the city and travel alone. Early steam engines pretty much just sit in museums. Have you decided what sort of train you want to train? These are all the different kinds of trains. We had all different kinds of trains out this morning, Evan. We really like them. Now you need to catch one. There are lots of ways to catch a train. Some people will corner it, they'll stand in front of it. I don't recommend that. Others might try to put a big net around it to trap it. Still others will run the track into quicksand. True, these methods all work, but I'm going to show you a better way. Actually, the best way. We wouldn't really chase a train. That would not be a good plan. We need to keep our bodies safe. First, get up really early in the morning and find a good hiding spot close to some trains. Now the hard part. Sit quietly and wait and wait and wait some more. As the sun rises, the trains will begin to stir, that means move a little, and they'll start their engines. Watch them work and play. See what their habits are. Watch them work and play. It's only natural that you want to take home all of the trains, but don't just grab the first one you see. Take your time and choose the one that's right for you. 
You have one, it's time to make your move. Send a puff of smoke up into the air. You'll get the perfect, the train's attention. He's sending a puff of smoke up. Ruby Tuesday. If you brought any coal with you, now would be the time to offer it. No, thank you, George. Try saying, my, what a handsome train you are. And next, make the call of the wild train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo -choo. All right. Thank you, George. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo. Let's do it together. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo. Nice. Talking to the train. New pet. Well done. Here it comes. How do you know if the train, the train you caught is the one? Don't worry. You'll know. You'll know. You'll know. Here comes that train. Following the friend. It's following the friend. The friend wanted the train, and the train is following them. Her. She has braid like Ruby. <gasps> Once you get your train home, you want to give it a name. Some popular train names are Milo, Morgan, Nathan, Pushkin, Smokey. Pickle Root Puss, Captain Fufamalu, Little Miss Muffin Head, sure chugs a lot. Amelia, what are you gonna name your train? See this one in the middle, Smokey? That's what we used to call my dad, Smokey. Smokey Stover, Smoke. Sparkles, she named her, her train Sparkles. That would be a good one. I would ma name my train Sugar. What would, she, what would you name your train, Nico? Sugar. Sugar, I like sugar. I'm really going to see my name. A rabbit train. A rabbit train. That's a good one. Friends at home, make draw a picture of a train for us and tell you what. Tell us what you would name it. Oh boy, don't worry if it seems shy or scared at first. A train needs time to adjust to new surroundings. A warm bath can calm a nervous train. Wait till you see this picture. The train <laughs> is in the swimming pool. What? Do trains go in kids' swimming pools? I think not. <laughs> Look at that silly picture, friends at home. And few trains can resist a good read aloud. Look, reading a story to the train. Reading a story to the train. Reading a story to the train. If your train has trouble falling asleep at night, play soft locomotion songs. Rocka rocka, clickety clack, rocka rocka, clickety clack. This is an old conductor's trick that will give your train good dreams. There's the train snoozing. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. I sometimes listen to music to try to fall asleep at night. It helps me re relax. Okay. Spend as much time as you can getting to know your train. Does it prefer to go fast or slow? Does it like to play fetch? That's just when you throw a stick or a ball and the train tries to catch it, but I don't think trains play fetch. And I think trains really like to go fast for the most part. Yeah, they're smoking now. Coming to the end, friends. How does it feel about tunnels and bridges? Here's a train going over the bridge. It seems a little sad. There's a blank smoke. Yep. Black smoke coming out of there. We had tunnels and bridges this morning with our train. Sure did. This is a blank smoke. You want to teach your train a few tricks? This Easy as pie. Start with snow. a simple trick and then move on to something harder. They're teaching the train to move up and down, uh -oh. to turn over. Fire. Ooh, yes, that's we're dangerous. Gonna, gonna jump yeah, through that's a, dangerous. Yes. He's jumping fire. through a ring of fire, George. It's like a circus trick. That's, that's fire. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah.
By now, your train should be willing to let you go for a ride, but start out slow. Yes, try, no. try riding in the caboose at first. Trains are very particular about who sits in the engineer's car. The caboose is the car at the end of the train. The caboose is the car at the end of the train. That's a, that's a train. It's all the way down here. This is the engineer's car. Good manners are important. Train your train not to leap up on people and always try to wipe its wheels before going indoors. Of course, your train can't go everywhere with you. Look at the dirt on the floor. Oh, train got some dirt on the floor, so we have to wipe the wheels before we bring it inside. Out on the road, out on the open road, you're sure to pass other kids with their pet trains, planes, tra trucks, or submarines. This is a great chance for the both of you to make new friends. Look at all these vehicles. Next week, we're going to talk about a different kind of vehicle. Next week, we're going to talk about boats. Get ready. All right. Congratulations, you've given your train fuel, which is, which is what powers it. Our fuel is food and, and water. A, a good home and plenty of friendship and fun. Everything it needs to be happy. How will you know if your train is happy? I think we're going to find out on the next page, friends. It's had food, fuel and water and kindness. Friendship. Don't worry, you'll know. I'm noticing that this train is smiling. I'm noticing that this train is smiling. Oh. Got a nice pet. All right, friends at home, draw a picture of a train and give it a name and post it on Seesaw. And we'll see you next week. We're gonna get started with some yoga. You know what? We'll keep, let's keep the video on, Alex, so that you yeah, can show our yoga poses, the two that we're learning this week. Perfection. All right, I want all my ignorance to stay right where they are. Right where you are, friends. Right where you are. Friends at home, get ready. Here we go. So first, friends, just like we did last week, we like to start our practice with three, one, two, three, deep breath. So right where you are with your hands in your lap, crisscross applesauce. We're sitting up, Tara and George. We're gonna use our hands. We're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna let it out like a snake with a little wave. We're gonna do three of those. Here we go, deep breath in. Slowly let your breath out. Two more. Last one is our biggest one. Deep breath in. Fill all the way up. Our first pose is a new pose that we didn't do last week. This pose is called child's pose. So first I need everybody with their eyes on me. First you watch and then I'll invite you to do the poses. Okay, Ruby, can you see me? If I can see your eyes, you can see mine. Looking up here, friends at home. So to start, I'm gonna put my hands and knees on the ground. Everyone's still watching me. Nobody's moving yet. So I have two hands on the ground. One, two, I have two knees on the ground. One and two. My feet are on the ground. Waiting, please, wait, please. Everyone's in their crisscross applesauce. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hips and my tush, and I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna try to put my legs onto my feet, and I'm gonna stretch my arms out. I'm gonna go down, 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 until my forehead, until my head can touch my mat, can touch the ground. My hands go forward, and my legs can go back until I'm sitting on my feet, and I stretch, 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 reach my arms out, and I gently, Touch my head to the ground. 
That is our first pose. Anyway, Let's get started. So now I would like you to try that. Now it's your turn, Acorns. Two hands on the ground. Two knees on the ground. Two hands, two knees. Let's start there. I'm waiting to see. Nico's there. Stay right there. Perfect. George, you're right there. Tara, you're right there. Please stay on your mat. Looking at me, Miles. Turn, turn, turn. That's perfect. I love how this is their tabletop from last week. Yep. Hands and knees is their tabletop. So now let's sit back, start sitting back. Find your feet, move your hips back, and your hands go out. And your head touches the ground. Tara, you've got it. Miles, you've got it. Nico, you've got it. George, you've got it. Some child poses. Head down, head down. Arms go forward. Head down, head down. Relax your head. Put this hand here. Put your hips back. Let's go back. Perfect. Now we can come back up. Come back up to your tabletop. So, two hands, two knees. You could rest a book or your water bottle on your back. Your back is super flat. Two hands, two feet. You can balance something on your back. That's great, but we're calm. This is our yoga time. Beautiful. So that was how we go into our child's pose. We go from tabletop, we use our legs to sit back, head goes down, and we touch. Okay bottom to our heels. Yeah. Like you can sit right on your feet. You can sit your legs back onto I, your feet. I can feet. Very nice. So from here, friends, let's get back into tabletop. Back into hands tabletop. and feet, hands tabletop. and knees on the ground. Tabletop. And now we're watching me. No tabletop. one? Get ready. Here we go. Watching me. We're going to do our new pose. Get ready. I'm going to stretch my leg out and my leg out. So your legs are straight and your hands are on the ground. Can you follow me? Let's see. My legs are on the ground and my hands are on the ground. And then I'm going to stretch my body up. Tara, you've got it. I'm stretching. Show me your up dog. George, you've got it. We are like a whale. And you can look. That's it. And you can look over one shoulder. Look over the other. Ruby, let's see it. Ruby, you can lie all the way down on your belly. Now we're gonna come up. And now press your put your hands down. Push up. That's great. We can try it from another way. So you can also lay down and you put your hands down and push. Push, 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 push. Into your up dog. Right into your up dog there, friends at home. Let's go back to crisscross applesauce. And we're going to finish with three deep breaths, just like we started with. That's how we know we're still working on yoga. We're all on our own mat. Thank you, friends. That was nice and quick. George, you ready? Please put your hands in your lap to start. Nico, hands in your lap, please. We're going to do the same thing we, like we started. We start our yoga practice with breathing, and we're going to end it with breathing. We're going to do three of those deep breaths. Here we go. First one, deep breath in. Look at how slow my hands are moving. Slow. Two more. So I'm not flapping my arms. I'm not waving. My hands are just slowly sliding to the floor. Last one. Deep breath, biggest one yet. Fill all the way up and let it out. Friends at home, we're gonna work on our journals now. We would love to see your journal work at home. Thank you.